Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ayy, cool little joint, acting stupid. Who them boys? You fucking with a shark, don't act so coy. It's a brand new pencil. Cheers, man. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Everything, everything, yeah. Everything bar and service If you just left, reverse and come back Won't you listen to the boy talking that smack About the food, drink, service, curse and all that Not to mention the bullshit that go on All the bullshit reviewers can roll on Got shit to prep in that kitchen Step in my vision, prep to get smoked on Yeah, won't you marinate in that for a bit Manager investigate to see if they were fit Six days in, they're like, I quit The restaurant's way too lit Plus daddy done paid my rent already See big me with the facts so heavy Just put it in and the shit isn't ready You looking so salty, boy, why you so jelly? Uh. Yo guys, welcome back to another episode of Everything Bar and Service. So today, I'm with my boy, Christian Lopez. He is a great guy, first of all. Second of all, um, <laughs> Stop. so he's in the service industry. He is actually a bartender downtown San Augustine. So we came up with this idea of like, all these other people have these passions that are in the service industry and not really, not that many people have a chance to really talk about it or they're a little shy about it. So this is gonna be a platform for people to talk. You know, I, I just wanted to interview Christian. He actually is living with me right now, so it's just an easy end. So <laughs> for it's, sure. It's temporary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christian, so just uh, introduce yourself and tell me, uh, you know, what one of your passions is you have. Yeah, uh, my name is Christian Lopez. Um, a pseudonym that I go by is Young Spicoli. It's how I, how I drop my music. Uh, I've been making music for probably 11 years and went the whole way, you know, with my 0 03 MacBook in my parents' basement until being able to be a part of fun stuff like this and, and record with other people that are also in the service industry and have introduced me to a lot of opportunities in the creative world around here. So I would definitely say that my passion is music, making music, being a part of of the process, even if I'm not a part of that particular song, being in a place like that with people that are just ecstatic about what they're doing and expressing themselves has been really the biggest passion that drives me to make my money in the service industry to be able to do that. So yeah, and you know I think that's very important is to um, anyone that know that is in the industry kind of knows that like this industry once you're in it in the thick of it it kind of sucks, bro. Like. It's I mean, hard. It, yeah. It's hard, but at the same time, like you learn to love it, and like it gets addicting. But it's cool to listen to you know your side of other passions that people can have to really motivate them through those tough days. You know. Yeah, I mean, I think that one of the biggest things that kind of directed me in my life was when my dad kind of told me, you know, there is no perfect job. There is, there's no such thing. Um, even people that love their jobs, there are parts of their jobs they hate. And right. it's no such thing as, you know, unless you're you know, a professional athlete or, you know, all these things. But even still, there are things about those jobs they hate. Right. But if you can find something that allows you to do your passions, that's really where you get lucky. And I think that the service industry, it's no coincidence that so many people have so many passions right. and, and other goals because it's it's something that challenges you you have to be uh, in the moment in the service industry you have to be willing to take shit and you have to be willing to deal it out and and just sweat and grind but the money's good and yeah, it right. allows you to do things in your spare time that you wouldn't if you had another job a nine right. to five you'd never have that time Absolutely or that money not. so and I find that so refreshing to hear someone else say that like and I feel like a lot of industry people or like they come in they do their shit and they go they don't don't really express that but like it's important to share dreams it's important to share like how you feel to other people that are in the same boat as you i'm yeah. hoping this can inspire inspire other people to like keep chugging along dude keep doing what you got to do to survive but at the same time don't feel dead inside do what you do and do what you love to do and i would say also like to that same effect like if you know that you have a passion that you're pursuing eat it and go, you right. know? Like, yeah, this job is hard. Yeah. It's hard and people are yelling at you. You got a bunch of Karens and you got a bunch of, you know, uh -huh. assholes that really don't understand what you're going through behind the bar or as a server or a hostess or anything or a bar manager, right. in front of the house manager. Um, but you know what you're there for. You're there to get your money so that you can do what you love. So eat it with a smile and uh, and run it because at the end of the day, the whole time you're flicking them off in your head, like yeah. you have no idea how much studio time this right. affords me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is crazy. Yeah. It really is. Like the amount of money that you can walk oh with in gosh. a night just for putting up with some yeah. bullshit is pretty wild. It's 
it's insane to think about and it's also insane that so many people do it and like thrive off of it. Like I said, I don't think it makes everyone truly happy, but at the same time, it, it gets the job done and you meet an amazing amount of people doing it. Like, I think that's one of the forgotten things about being in the industry is you meet peers that like will influence you and help you through the tough times and just friendships that you can never find anywhere else, so. Yeah, I agree, 100%. Yeah. Like I said, this is Everything Bar and Service. This Everything is, Bar and Service, this baby. This is uh, Young Spicoli. There it is. Now it's now it's in the headphones. Yeah. You know, I wore my, my good pajamas for this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Very. Let's give it a minute to okay. digress. Uh. Uh. Hey. Everything Bar and hey. Service. Hey. Check it out for Everything Ooh. Bar and Service. Feeling a little bit self-explanatory. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Cool little joint, acting stupid. Who them boys? You fucking with a shark, don't act so coy. It's a brand new pencil, you're missing the point. Never stressing these bitches, I make my decision and split. Fuck it, it is what it is. I just wanna better me, dream alphabetically. Cooking these bitches, I don't need no recipe. Through with these bitches, my dad told me let it be. That was the Beatles, but y'all just in sex to me, uh. Hey, y'all just in sex to me, uh. This brand new, sit right there, cause I can't stand you. Got good tan like you from Cancun. Lopez sound like you from Cancun, but he ain't. Bless FL, but he rep VA. Shake them tins, baby, let's get paid. Brand new too, but the point's been made. EBS, baby, make my day. Hey, hey, hey. Make my day. Yeah. yeah. Everything, hey. bar everything bar and, bar and service. Yeah. Bitch ain't all the way somewhere. Yeah. Hey, people Oof. fucking suck. Hey, Brayden tells you what it is, they suck. Got a bunch of Karens and they suck. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's the wait gonna be like at 1030? Cause that's a rational question. I thought about that up here all on my own. Yeah, I'm grown too, which is crazy. These stupid ass hoes that come out of these restaurants and just act like they've never been out before. Heard his freshest shit ever. <laughs> it was, it I mean, was, it was pretty good. It, it was, was just fucking him fun, man. Literally writing awful. shit down for ten minutes, and that's what he came up with. Unreal. But um, <laughs> I love this guy, and uh, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. And thanks um, for having me. Very, very, very proud. Very, yes, sir. very fucking proud. Yes, sir. And that was we, very awkward. Yeah, it's all good. It's all right. <laughs> but all right, guys, we will see you in the next video. Peace.